welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. Yes, yes, yes. What is today's episode? Oh, yeah, that's right. Hope, H-O-P-E. Hope. Hope. Hope, hope, hope. And notice we spelled it out because, well, I mean, I just treat, like, all of life as one big, ginormous spelling bee, don't I? He does. I like he to does. spell out words. Uh, but here it's kind of important because we are treating that word hope as an acronym. H-O-P-E, hope. Holding. On to. Promises. Every day. Holding on to promises every day. And the reason why we want to talk about hope mm -hmm. is because there's a lot that goes on in our homes and school and this world that mm -hmm. can make us feel hopeless. I mean, think about home life, like the yeah. things that can make us feel hopeless. Uh, fights with siblings, mm -hmm. parents not getting along, uh, financial stuff going on in the family. Diagnosis. Um, yep. Diagnosis. With a grandma mm -hmm. or an uncle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or school. Yeah, school. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot with, with, mm -hmm. you know, with, with, with school that can make mm -hmm. things seem so dark, bleak, hopeless, mm -hmm. like struggling with your grades, mm -hmm. um, a school or not school sport injury, you know, um, or school injury would be. <laughs> I was just getting <laughs> getting up and I really tweaked my ankle. Uh -huh. I got a paper cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I that is kind of a school injury. It's, it's I think, true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Yep. So, or getting bullied yeah, at, yeah. at school. Yeah. Yeah. And then like in the world, like mm -hmm. it's, especially in the US of A right now, mm -hmm. I mean, just lots of stuff that can make everything look so bleak, dark, hopeless. Mm -hmm. School shootings, mm -hmm. um, banks closing, prices going up for, for a lot of different necessities, um, all the political name calling and unrest going on. Yeah, um, yeah, just turn on the nightly news and right yeah. there is a 24-7 cycle of bad news, Yeah, right? And yeah, not only here, but all over the world with yeah, wars. wars and rumors of wars and mm -hmm. earthquakes, mm -hmm. famine. Uh, the mm -hmm. very things that Jesus preached on during his uh, Holy Week, mm -hmm. you know, his Holy Week sermons. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but uh, here's the thing. Uh, we are not people of hope. Less. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are people of hope. Fullness. Yeah. Hope. Hopefulness. Uh, Zechariah 9 actually tells us that we are prisoners of hope. That mm -hmm. means that we, are, that, 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 that we are taken captive by hope. Hope. Hope holds us. Mm -hmm. We are hope's prisoner. And it won't let us go. Yeah. It's keeping a very watchful eye on us. <laughs> Which, yeah. It, but very. Yes. Yes. Um, and uh, in, 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 so... Uh, Hope is, 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 is really, for, for us Christians, um, uh, not like how the world uses hope. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, when we talk about hope, uh, we're, not, we're not just talking about, uh, you know, uh, no more tears and, mm -hmm. and no more emotions mm -hmm. and, and no more, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just uh, bad times. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, we don't just take all that and, and sweep it under the rug. Hope. No. no. Uh, hope and tears coexist, mm -hmm. uh, especially uh, coexist. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's good it's, it's good news, actually, right. that we can have in the midst of pain and tears and fears and doubts mm -hmm. and depression and anger, uh, we can have oh. hope. hope. And, we, and we really see this in this beautiful part mm -hmm. of First uh, Thessalonians chapter 4. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and, why, and why is this kind of near and dear to our hearts, Deaconess? Because it's a passage we use a lot with comforting families for our devotions with families right before um, a funeral home visitation, right before the public comes to, to pay their respects. Um, so it's a great verse of several verses of comfort um, that we get to share with, with these dear saints. Yes, now read it. All right. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. So like Pastor was saying, we do not grieve as those who have no hope, but we still grieve. Yeah, we still Don't grieve. miss that part. <laughs> we have tears, we have fears, yeah. we have doubts. Mm-hmm. Struggles. Yep. All the above. And we still have hope. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we still have hope. And that's because our hope is anchored in 
Jesus. Jesus. Who? Mm-hmm. Who? Keeps his promises. Yeah. And so he's... And, the, and, and, and what was the biggie promise? The biggie mm-hmm. promise? I mean, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Crucify me. I will not stay dead, but on the third day I will rise. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Yeah, yeah. Yep. He rose Our, from the dead. He delivered on that biggie, biggie, big deal promise. So... All of his other promises, he will deliver on those too. He's a promise. For us, for you. Yeah, he's a promise-making, promise-keeping, uh, uh, promise-fulfilling God. That's mm-hmm. who he is. Mm-hmm. You, know? you have to promise-making, promise-keeping, promise-fulfilling mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. And so if you made uh, you know, good on that biggie promise of a Good Friday mm-hmm. death and Easter morning resurrection, he's going to make good on all the promises mm-hmm. uh, right here in the Bible. Lots of promises. And that's mm-hmm. why hope for us is, is a beautiful acronym. Holding on to promises every day. Yes. Mm-hmm. So so in the midst of pain, we mm-hmm. hold on to these promises because we know these promises from Jesus mm-hmm. are going to bring us through the pain into the greatest gain. That's because on the cross, all the pain, all the pain that we could ever experience, all the pain that this world has experienced, is now experiencing, will ever experience, mm-hmm. placed on Jesus, right? Mm-hmm. And he suffered all of that pain unto death. And he buried all of that pain into his graveyard death. And he rose from the dead paving a path through the pain into the greatest gain, which is, which is Mm -hmm. the the resurrection. resurrection. Come on, Deaconess. (laughs) The greatest gain is the resurrection of our bods. We're going to stand in our resurrected bods on the last day, blinging and singing in the glory of God. We're going to see this promise-making, promise-keeping, promise-fulfilling God, aren't we? With our own eyes. No longer will we walk by faith. We will walk by sight. We will Mm -hmm. see this God who keeps promises, who is with us every step of the way home. These promises will not put us to shame. No, they will not. No, they will come true, dear Mm -hmm. friends. They will. Mm -hmm. They will come true. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we are all about holding on to promises every day, every day, every day. Mm -hmm. Now, what's really interesting is that we have these two disciples in Luke 24 Mm -hmm. that did not believe the promise of the resurrection, uh, Cleopas Mm -hmm. and the unnamed disciple. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's, it's the first resurrection day, the first Easter day. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they, they, they they do not think that Jesus has uh, risen from the dead because Mm -hmm. dead people normally don't come back from the dead. Mm -hmm. Right. Especially, what? That's a big nope. That's a big nope. Yep, yep, yep. Big nope. Uh, no hope. Mm-hmm. Big nope. And so they're going back to Emmaus to their day jobs, hoping they can actually get their jobs back that mm-hmm. they left to follow Jesus. They they now are just kind of in despair mode. They put all their chips on uh, Jesus, and mm-hmm. they're like, let down. He failed. Mm-hmm. Big mm-hmm. epic fail. Mm-hmm. Now we have to go back to our families. They're going to laugh at us, mm-hmm. make fun of us, ridicule us, because they're going to say, we told you so. We told you that you put all your chips on the wrong Messiah. Mm-hmm. Well, this uh, this Messiah uh, comes alongside them. Of course, their mm-hmm. eyes are shut to his identity. Mm-hmm. And he kind of plays the ignorant card. Like, hey, guys, what uh, what happened this uh, this weekend? Why are you so sad? And uh, and uh, Cleopas, he, uh, he's like, what are you, what are you, have you been, like, were you, were you born, like, Yesterday? Did you miss the nightly news? Yeah, God. come on, man. Uh, and and here's, here's actually Cleopas' response to Jesus when Jesus says, what things? When he wants to know what just occurred. Uh, Cleopas says, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, a man who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But, huge B-U-T but, 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 we had hoped, we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. They believe that this weekend has become for them crushing, so crushing that this weekend has crushed all of their hope. What Jesus will reveal in the breaking of the bread when he opens their eyes is that this weekend that they thought crushed all of their hope is actually the basis for all of their hope. Hope. This weekend, 
the Good Friday and Easter morning weekend is the basis for... Hope. All of our hope. Your hope. Deaconess's hope. Pastor A.A. Ron's hope. Right? Yes. Because of this weekend, we know that all of God's promises are yes in Jesus. Mm -hmm. No matter the pain, Deaconess, mm -hmm. what can we do? We can hope. Hope. Mm -hmm. And we do hope. Mm -hmm. We hold on to those promises knowing what, Deaconess? Mm -hmm. That our Lord Jesus, with his nail-scarred hand, is holding on to us. Yeah. Our resurrected Jesus is holding on to us, yeah. keeping us in hope, in his hope, keeping us prisoners in that, of that hope. And he's going to bring yeah. us through the pain mm -hmm. into the greatest gain. Mm -hmm. That's what he's going to do. That's his promise. Mm -hmm. I mean, his Easter morning has clinched for us our own Easter mornings, mm -hmm. right, on the last day. Yes. And what a joy that will be, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we say, Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. And so shall we. And so shall we. Mm -hmm. So dear friends, hope. Hold on to, well, here, hold on to promises. Every day. Yeah. You will not be put to shame. Mm -hmm. Our Lord is not a letdown. Mm -hmm. He's the one who's going to raise you up. Mm -hmm. You know, you get knocked down, but he'll pick you up again. Mm -hmm. Jesus will raise you up. Mm -hmm. He will do that. He's promised it. Yep. And he will deliver. Yep. So he's mm -hmm. with you in your pain mm -hmm. to bring you into the greatest gain. Mm -hmm. This is most certainly true. true. Yep. Yep. So hope. Hold on to promises every day. Yep. So by his wounds, we are healed. Until next time, dear friends. Toodles. <laughs>